here with my best friend, Brookie. Aww. Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here. Brookie has a brand new YouTube channel and you guys can subscribe by clicking the link in the description box below this video. And don't forget to use our code when buying Robux. And don't forget to check out StarSquad.shop where you can buy adorable snugglers or a super cute t-shirt. Daisy, where did you come from? Oh, I just snuck in the back. <laughs> I'm totally subscribing to Brookie's new channel. Thanks, guys. That means so much to me. And now it's time to get to the video. Hey, Luke. When are you going to be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. I'm um, going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call. and The fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless. And, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, oh, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey, well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey, Luke. I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about um, how you were going to go help over at the, at the fire station. I, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Ah, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh, no. I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry. They'll be here soon enough. <sighs> they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow. That's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I'll, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah. Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here. That sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> Either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house and boom, it'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la, I'm so happy. Molly, what has gotten into?
to you. Oh my god, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best. Love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic. Seriously. Oh, I was so excited and I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> oh, brother. Yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh, my God, you have a crush on Luke. And turns out he has a crush on me, too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than, like, 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that, like, you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? Oh, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah, I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole! That is, that is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly, huh? just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb? <laughs> and I would never go out with you? Luke? What? what? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we were meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, um, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. Ah! That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box! Okay, fine. I'll I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it! Mm. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. Okay, class. Today, we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly, I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're going to really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on... Don't even say his name. I don't want to hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school. And I don't care about anything. Molly, uh, you're leaving me no choice but get, to give you detention. Uh-huh. Whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. 
What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and, and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? Why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not fart detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in her box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away as well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy or happiness or laughter or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it, doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point. Now come on, Molly. Let's restore your heart back to your spirit. Whoa! My heart! It's back! Oh, I missed it so much! Except for that pain! Oh! Luke! Molly, try not to think of those things as much. Maybe think about the fun things, the happy things. And, well, you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you going to let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good, even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Where did I put my math book? Where's my math book? Oh, wait, there it is. <laughs> it was right in front of my face. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Molly! Oh, hey, Molly, what are you doing? Um, I'm just getting my math book. Why? So you could feed it to your unicorn? <laughs> I know unicorns like to eat homework. Do you want to go inside in my bikes? It's a beautiful day outside. Spring has arrived! Sorry, Daisy. Can't. I have to do my homework. Say what? You're going to do your homework? Oh, my gosh. Who are you? What have you done with Molly? No, seriously. I don't want to have to repeat this grade, so I better get it in gear because school year's almost over. True, Molly, true. You can still pull this off and get some passing grades. I know you can. I can do better than passing. I'm too smart for just passing. I'm going to get at least B's. Well, that's a pretty good start, Molly. Now I just have to find my notebook and some paper and pencils. Mm -hmm. Wait, where'd they go? Maybe I left them over here on my nightstand. Oh, no! Oh, man! I can't find any! Ugh, I wonder if my mom has any. She's always, like, got stuff, like, in her room or whatever. Wait, wrong room. I'm lost right now. <laughs> okay, I went into um, baby Kira's room. I don't know why. Uh, maybe on her dresser? No. Nightstand? No. <gasps> I know! She probably locked it in the safe, thinking I'm going to steal her paper and her pencils. And she is right. <laughs> Whoa! Mom's got stacks of cash in here! Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I wish these were my stacks of cash. Seriously. 
Oh, wait, what's that? Paper! Okay, score. I found some paper, but I need to find some pencils. Wait, somebody already wrote on this paper. What is this? Thank you for adopting Molly? Adopting Molly? What are they talking about adopting Molly? You are now the proud mother of Molly? Oh my gosh! I'm adopted? Why didn't my parents tell me this? I, I, I didn't know I was adopted. They lied to me! That's it. I can't stay here. I, I have to go find, I don't know, somewhere else to live. They kept the truth from me. I don't belong here. I'm adopted. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I just, I don't understand why they didn't tell me the truth. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. I made some delicious chocolate chip cookies. Since you were doing your homework, I thought I would be nice. Would you like some? No, I don't need anything from you. You're not even my sister. Molly, what are you talking about? You're being really weird. Why do you have that bag? Because I'm running away from home. Now get out of my way. Molly, what's going on? Molly, talk to me. I don't need to talk to you. You're not even my real sister. Molly, stop it. Come back here right now. No, get out of the elevator. Fine, Molly, I'll go down first. But tell me what's going on. No, I'm not going to tell you. Don't ever try to find me. You're not my real family. Oh my gosh, I have to call mom. Something really bad is happening with Molly. Hi, Daisy. What is it, honey? I'm at work. I'm sorry to call you, mom, but I have an emergency. Okay, what is it, Daisy? What's wrong? It's Molly. She ran away from home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Why, why is she running away from home? I don't know. She said we weren't her real family and I wasn't her real sister and she had to go. What is she talking about? I don't know, Mom, but I, I think you better try to find her. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll handle this. Thanks, Mom. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. My whole life has been a lie. I don't want to be around those people anymore. They would have told me if I was adopted. It's just wrong. It's so wrong. Okay, where's that tent I packed? Oh, I hope it's warm enough inside the tent. I'm sure it will be. I can do this. I, I, I got my Girl Scout Wilderness badge. I'll put it right here next to the dumpster. Then I also have somewhere to eat breakfast. <laughs> Just my luck, it would start raining. Oh, I hope this tent doesn't leak. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows, cause I'm abandoned. Well, I'm not really abandoned. I sort of decided to come out here on my own. But I'm adopted and no one told me. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What? What's my mom doing here? Oh my gosh, and I can't even run away because it's pouring outside. Molly? Molly! Oh, there you are. I was so worried. What are you doing? Why did you run away from home? I think you know, don't you? Um, no. I have no idea, but I love you and we can work it out. I ran away because of what I found in the safe. Wait, you stole all our money and now you're going to go live on a tropical island? No, but if we have enough money to live on a tropical island, why aren't we doing it? Molly, our life is here in Brookhaven. <laughs> why? I mean, we could live on a tropical island. Okay, not the point. All right, uh, just tell me what's going on. No, I don't need to talk to you. You're not my mom. Molly, that is very hurtful. Why would you say that? Because look what I found in the safe. What? What is it? It's, it's adoption paperwork for Molly, you know, me, your daughter. Why did you lie to me all these years? Oh, my goodness, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, what are you laughing for? This is exactly why I ran away. Molly, come here, honey. I want to tell you something. Even if you were adopted, you would be very loved. Just because you're adopted doesn't mean you're not loved. You would be my daughter no matter what. But you're not adopted. Liar! That's what this paperwork says! Molly, let me tell you a story. Can you stay calm until my story is over? Yeah. I guess. Once upon a time, I had a dog. 
Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. I'm so glad I adopted you, my sweet little puppy. Ah, you look like a Molly. Now should we go for a walk, Molly, or just sit here at the park? Ruff, 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 ruff. Okay, a uh, walk it is. <laughs> come on, girl, come on, Molly. Oh, you're such a sweet dog. Um, okay, you had a dog named Molly. What does that have to do with my adoption? I mean, all that says is that you're not very creative with coming up with different names. Um, Molly, no, that's not the end of the story. You see, Molly was a good dog. She lived about 12 years, but then it was time for her to cross the Rainbow Bridge. What's the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge? It means when your dog dies. Whoa, your dog died? Well, I don't have a dog named Molly anymore, do I? No, but again, can't you come up with any other names besides Molly? I'm surprised you came up with Daisy. Okay, look, Molly was such a special dog to me. I had her during college and when I was young and when I was lonely sometimes when I was away at college, she was my best friend. And so when I gave birth to you, Molly, I named you after her. Wait, what? You named me after your dog? I'm not sure if I should be offended or happy with this. Well, since she was the world's most amazing dog, you should definitely be happy about it. She holds a very special place in my heart, as do you. Okay, but that doesn't explain why you have this adoption paper. Molly, read the fine print. Thank you for adopting your new dog, Molly? Wait, this is a dog adoption paper? Yeah, I kept it because... It just reminded me of Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this was an adoption paper for me. Nope, it was for my dog, Molly. I've just kept it all these years. <laughs> now, where do you say we pack up this tent and go home? Oh my gosh, Mom, I feel so bad. It's okay. When we get home, you can make me some chocolate chip cookies. Ah, uh, too late. Daisy already did. Well, then you can scoop the ice cream on top. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Should we have peanut butter ice cream or vanilla? I say both. Now, come on, honey. Let's go home. Okay, Mom, but tell me the truth. Daisy's definitely adopted, right? No, Molly. Daisy's not adopted. I really think she is. You don't have to lie to me about this. Molly? <laughs> There's no way she really is related to us. I hate to break it to you, Molly, but Daisy's your actual sister. Oh, man. Thank you.